Hi everyone, so for today's video we're gonna talk about, well I'm gonna show you that the different ways of converting files. So this is actually one really interesting um, uh, way of converting images to PDF files. So there's this um, thing you can download, it's the pip install img to pdf and all you really have to do is go to, and this is for Windows by the way, um, there's going to be different um, commands for Mac, which I'll show you in another video or after this. So this one's just for Windows right now, but here, what I'm going to do actually is go to Terminal, or actually go to Command Prompt, and right here, what I'll do is I'll go CD Desktop. And right now, um, most of you guys probably don't have this. So you want to copy this. And you want to just paste this here. And enter. And you want to let this download so you can run these commands. So mine's already installed, so it's not going to do anything. There's an error because I already have the latest version right now but yours should be downloading, not a problem. And what we want to do is, I actually took the time to already download some images, but right now I already made sure they're all JPEGs. So let me just close this. These are just dog photos I found online. So if we just go to option, property, you can see they end in .jpeg. So that's, you, you want to make sure that you have the same um, file extension. I mean you could have different file extensions, but for this one, I'll just make it one um, of the same final, um, one, all of the same um, extensions, so it's easier to follow along. So all three of these, what I want to do is I want to convert all of these into one JPEG. So the reason why you may want to do this in command lines is because maybe you have some sort of sensitive information that you're not able to use any type of converter online or your company won't um, provide any specific software programs to you. So this is a great way, uh, a, an alternative. If you know command lines, it will automatically do the work for you and you won't have to worry about it. So all you really have to do is follow this step-by-step process is do img to pdf pdf and then put the star which means all jpeg so depending on how you what you have on your desktop if you have multiple jpeg files you want to make sure that um, they're not all on the same area so if you have too many files on your desktop, you may want to put this in a folder and then here with it in here, go to that actual inside that folder and then run this command or else then it will make all the JPEG files all together into one um, PDF. So what you want to do now is do space dash O and then space, whatever you want to call this. It's um, So I'll just say all dog dogs together and then dot pdf because that's the ending that we want on um, the new file that we're creating we're converting everything from jpeg into one pdf file so if i hit enter You can see right here on my desktop now, I have this thing, this file called All Dogs Together. If I double click it, it opens up and you can see all of the three images that I have selected are actually all in one PDF. So this is a nice, quick and efficient way um, for you to just be able to convert any files. and. Actually, if you go to image to PDF, um, there's usually more documentation. It might be this one here. Mm -mm. Yeah, it's not that one. 
So it looks like it's just that one command line right here for image to PDF. So this is the one you want to use if you want have specific images you want to convert to PDF. Of course there's other file extensions as well. Um, you just kind of have to search for it. And right here you can see that this is a Python. Um, this uses Python in order to convert the files.